Robinson will be on the blue lines. Uh, Warriors starting their, their bash and crash line, and we'll see how much bashing and crashing we're going to get out of them today. I don't know what you're going to be watching, but I'm going to be staring pretty strongly here at number one, watching uh, Matt Greenfield. Being the huge goalie fan that I am, it's going to be really interesting to see how he responds today after a little bit of rust. Net, full-scale changes by Carlton Place. Buchanan for St. Pierre trying to turn in the right face-off circle. He'll throw it behind the net for Leneve. Leneve loses the puck. Now St. Pierre gets it, running to the boards by his rival 25, Nick Rotigliano. Puck comes to the... Face-off circle, not out. Finally, Blackburn now will carry out for the Warriors. Foreman at center ice. Gets by his man, Grant. Throws it from a sharp angle. They score! Quinn Foreman from an ugly angle. And the Warriors with their first shot, their first foray into Carlton Place territory, have a 1-0 lead. Wow, Wayne, that's an absolute goalie nightmare to start off a game where you haven't even looked at a puck yet. As you said, the Warriors haven't even gone across their blue line yet. And I, nobody was more surprised than the goalie to see that puck go in as the whole crowd was kind of stunned. And I don't think anybody cheered really until the light went on. Boards, he lost it. And back comes Murray. Murray, a shot. Greenfield, the save. The rebound goes to Kip. As the Carlton Place Canadians look for the loose puck, that goes wide. No Kip behind the net. Watched by Yuremko. Murray in front, a shot, and that deflects wide. Greenfield tries to get his glove on it, not able to do so. Kit behind the net along with Van Horn lost it and out comes Garrett Forster. Forster at center ice with Foreman on his right. Forster cuts into the slot of Shetty. Hit the crossbar, I believe. Oh, there's some people in this building who thought that went in, Wayne. Certainly hit high and came right back down. It hit the wow. bar, whether it was the front bar or the back bar, yeah. we can't tell. The left point, it's Jake Harrison, Kyle Marino. In front of the net, a slot of shot by Basilico and a nice save by... Colton point. Basilico didn't get everything he wanted on it. Puck roll to point and he will hold on for a face off with 10 seconds remaining I in think, the Warrior power play. I think and Colton was, point's pretty excited that uh, Basilico didn't get a lot on that shot because I don't think he knew he made that save. He just kind of squeezed that five hole shot and just kind of hoped it was uh, between his legs. All of Kyle Marino's weight. Over the line, a shot. The rebound scores! Jonathan Dibian! Saw that pass coming out front, Wayne, with the goalie point down. He just, oh, he just hoped he could get to Davian, and he, he, we were so close that we could almost go and shoot that puck in ourselves. And Davian fired it up, stop with a typical nice snapshot. Of all the games we've watched, Jonathan Davian, have you seen him take a slap shot? It's no. Always that incredibly qu quick snapshot, wrist shot, kind of like a David Pope back in the day with the Warriors, but. No, made no mistake about it. Smart guy, a sniper at heart, going upstairs. Where all no all Jonathan Debian does is score goals. Uh, that's his fourth of the tournament. The original shot from uh, Brett Manier off the right wing. Point made the save, but the rebound went right out to Jonathan Debian, who made no mistake. Now Debian in again with a wrist shot, and Point is not going to give up a rebound. He has the puck for Grant. In front of the net, a shot, they score. Back door. Play by Carlton Place and a nice bit of puck movement and no chance for Matthew Greenfield. Along with a Blackburn, Davian in front of the net waiting for it. Blackburn comes out of the net, shoots and scores! Liam Blackburn found the loose puck along the right boards, skated to the circle. Into the slot, had all kinds of time through a high shot that appeared to hit point, maybe up around the shoulder. I'm not sure if anybody else touched it or if it just hit his shoulder and, and rolled in over and into the net. But either way, it's a 3-1 lead. And if it's Liam Blackburn's goal, it will be his second of the tournament and his tournament leading seventh point as he came in with a goal and five assists. We'll just have to wait on the announcement. But at 9 12 of this third period the Warriors now with a little bit more breathing room as they now lead by a score of three to one the scenario we're waiting for would not be something to have on your resume eh? oh, yeah only scored a goal at an RBC an cup RBC game. cup goal and that might be a first too we don't know we Morgan Bell from Hockey Canada is here as uh, Blumenshine took a I think a puck or a stick off the body and he went down in a heap, he's back up again, wincing a bit. There we go. And there we go. There's your empty netter. 
Brian Basilico as the puck was sent three quarters of the way down the ice. Basilico came onto it and from the right boards slides the puck into the yawning four by six. You know, bless the uh, Lloyd fans that are here cheering on his Warrior team. Isn't that that's wonderful? Oh, it's great. And Well, like, they, like I told you right off the bat, uh, the Warriors have been adopted as native son number two. Orlin Neve, his wrist shot is gloved by Greenfield, and the Warriors get it out to center ice with 15 seconds to go in this hockey game. The old Charitas. Now more Noah shot. That's blocked by Scott Allen, and he'll just... Try and waste the remaining five seconds. He has a puck behind the net. Morno or Moro after it with away, him. And now away. we got as at the buzzer. We have Allen and Moro. Now Theo Chaldas and Retigliano as Theo Chaldas went in to try and protect his player. I almost blame Scott Allen for that fact, Wayne, that he didn't get rid of the puck. He tried yeah. to kill it for the last 10 seconds, but he could have just cleared it down the ice and that was over. But you almost expect the, the Canadian players just to the, you know bump and bump and bump until the whistle blew, but why? They, unnecessary. Exactly. And I, I love the, the last couple plays there on the whistle, how the defenseman collapsed around Matt Greenfield, almost like guards protecting the queen, like nobody yeah. was oh, getting yeah. through there. No, it, was, uh, it was a great effort by your West Kelowna Warriors as they are now there is absolutely no doubt all those 64 or 65 scenarios that Ryland Furster was talking about before the game. Well, this is scenario number one. Just win, you're in. They've won, they're in. They'll play in one of the two semifinals on Saturday, either at 7.30 Mountain Time, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Okanagan Time, or, well, pick your time zone wherever you're listening to us this afternoon, or, of course, at 2.30 Mountain Time again, 1.30 Okanagan time. <laughs>